Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen here at the Morris Manor. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite meals. I actually do not like to cook very much, but I love to make food pretty and especially display it. That is great for entertaining. So today we're going to start with a charcuterie board. Great for spring and summer entertaining. You can even liven this up for into the summer entertaining season and it's great for multiple people. So let's get started. First, I am gonna help you out a little bit. It's very hard to know what to buy for a charcuterie board. And at Katrina & Co, our shop, we have got these cute little lists that say charcuterie on them and they tell you everything that you need to buy. So it's very, easy to follow you just take this to the grocery store you can actually rip out the page and you're good to go but i have been doing this for a long time so i'm just going to show you what i purchase and you can tweak it as you see fit we're going to start with the first layer i love to decorate in a kitchen or entertaining with just fresh vegetables so we're going to just lay this down here and i'm going to allow it to actually come off the board a little bit and it's going to give us some green that hangs off the board on one side and then we're going to do some carrots on this side and it's going to give a little bit of color so we're not going to do all of these you really when you're doing a charcuterie board your main goal is to create dimension and something that people can just pick apart and enjoy very casually. So we've got our carrots laid out. Then we're going to start with our meat. So you can choose salami, pepperoni, go to your local grocery store and just get the deli meats. And you can just roll up your pepperoni, you can roll up your salami. You want it to be very organic. There's nothing perfect about these boards the main thing that you want to remember is to make sure that your meats and your cheeses go along with the crackers and some of the sweetness of fruits. That's always important for a charcuterie board. And I just kind of um, layer them on top of each other because it creates, you know, again, some more dimension. Put this over here. And then we're gonna roll out our pepperoni. And you just start by really layering them anywhere. So instead of rolling them, you can also just pull them apart and just sort of place them on top of the carrots if you would like. And mozzarella already rolled up. And you're just gonna place that Again, we're just adding dimension. And we're only feeding four, so we don't have to use everything. The good thing is people can pick and choose what they want, and it's a great um, meal to come back and grab a few bites later. Okay, so we've got our, our meats out, so now we'll put some cheeses. This is kind of the fun part. You're just going to create little pockets let it come together you got to trust the process um, now some of my favorite cheeses i love any cheese that's mixed with blueberry or something sweet the blueberry is one of my favorites and again this i love the shape of it the triangle it's going to be we're going to lay it long ways just kind of kind of place it anywhere and then this is a sharp cheddar. Now I'm probably gonna cut this in half because it's quite large. And we can again put this anywhere. So just options is what's important. These are small baby pickling cucumbers. We're just gonna put those on the board as well. The dimension here is gonna come from some jars so i do love clear jars you can also use um, these are from katrina and co and then we have a set of four that's our silver you can put this anywhere 
And all you need to do with this is you can put your blueberry or your fig and walnut butter. I love fig with these charcuterie boards because the cheeses and the meat all mix together and it's absolutely delicious. We have our fun little jam spoon. We're gonna take the fig and walnut butter and just put it right in this silver container. We're just gonna kind of slide this. Sometimes you gotta play around with it a little bit. And then we'll just actually take this blueberry jam and I'm gonna put that in a clear container. It's our little spreader here that has seashells. It's great for summer. Again, you can, um, any time of the year, I serve charcuterie boards and then I just change out maybe my board. I change out my spreaders for Christmas or holiday versus our summer is great with these um, seashell. All right, and now we're going to layer a little bit more with our crackers. And I love like your Ritz crackers and you're just going to allow them to be very organic again. We're gonna take some of these um, mixed nuts. They're good, They're, they add the saltiness. And you're just gonna pour them. I pour them over the carrots, pour them in a nice, and you're gonna fill in a little bit. We're gonna have our grapes. Super easy. Some strawberries. You don't have to cut these because they're already bite size. So again, we're just adding some texture. Dried apricots. All the color. We do also have these cheese markers. A lot of people don't know what the cheeses are. Um, the Gouda, I'm just gonna put right in the center. If you have Brie, um, that's also a really good addition to the charcuterie board. So I also love pears. I always get pears and they're great for mixing. The fig and walnut butter with the pears are absolutely delicious and they add a great bit of texture. A very important piece to a charcuterie board is your olives. I choose the mixed. So again, uh, Katrina and Co, we specialize in kitchen essentials and entertaining ideas. So that's really my goal is whether you like to cook or not, you at least have the tools to make it look like you worked really hard. Um, you can also work in um, some artichoke hearts. They're great with some of the meats. We're almost done. We're gonna finish up with our sun-dried tomatoes. A wonderful layer. And you can play around with, you know, trying a piece of cheese with sun-dried tomato. You can try it with um, some of the fig and walnut butter. That's delicious. You've got your base layer. You've got some of this um, texture. We're gonna put a little bit of parsley and then fill in bagel chips. So you just break your parsley apart and you're just gonna tuck it. And it just adds the prettiest little detail to your board in between maybe your, your meats and then you've got your crackers. And it's just a good detail. If you have rosemary or something already, again, these are just purchased from the store. And they just make, it's just all about garnishment and making your charcuterie board look and taste amazing. All right, so we are about done. Now you are ready to serve the most delicious charcuterie board. Thank you guys for watching as I try to help your home and your meals and entertaining a little extra special.